Dancy Loves. Today's video is going to be on breaking in your point shoes. I don't have any brand new point shoes to demonstrate this to you. I'm not that rich, okay? These are my most undead, but they're well on their way, pair of shoes. These are my Russian points, and um, this model is the Entrada, I believe is how you say it. They're pretty worn down looking and they've got little white bows on them. I am in the theater production as a stagehand and the beginning and closing scenes I come out as like this masked ballerina character thing and yeah so that's just part of my costume. We'll try and ignore that for now, okay. Breaking in your point shoes is a very important thing to do correctly. If you do not, your shoes are gonna look funky, they'll feel funky, you know, it will actually increase your risk of injury, etc., etc. The list goes on and on. The important thing is where your shoes are being broken in. Okay. There's lots of different places like down here, right here by the box, you want to be a little broken in so that you can roll through your demi point. But at the same time, you don't want to wear that out too much, otherwise when you're trying to roll up onto point, you're just going to be stuck the demi point because it's so weak right there and you'll have no support trying to get all the way up onto full point. The other important spot where you want to break your shoes in is right here under your heel because that is obviously where the arch is and where your support from sliding down into the shoe comes from besides obviously the other elements of shoe fit, etc. The way to break it in down here is obviously to put the shoe on with the patty that you're going to be wearing, tie your ribbons. Now like I mentioned, these shoes are already pretty broken in, so I'm not really going to be able to demonstrate what they'll feel like when they're brand new. To work in through the dummy point, you're just going to work that position right there, okay? So you want to have that so you'll still be able to roll through the dummy point, but not too dead that you won't be able to use that strength of the shoe right there to get onto the full point. Now the other spot that you're going to be breaking in on your shoe is through here on the arch. There's many different opinions out there. Some people say, including the Russian point makers and the owner of that company actually herself suggested that the best way to break in your point shoes is to actually just do point work. Elevés and relevés. Um, I've also heard from other people that doing that without first shaping the shoe to your foot will cause the shoe to break in too far down and reduce the support that you'll have on your foot. So if you w want to kind of shape the shoe to your foot first, find where your heel ends right at the top of your arch here. Memorize that spot on the shoe. Then you're just going to take the shoe off and you're going to bend it back and forth where that spot where your heel ends. Okay, so mine's like right about here. So I'm just going to bend it back and forth right there at the top just to slightly weaken the shank so that it will conform to my heel and arch when I'm on full point. By hand, or you can set the shoe, pretend my hand's the floor, set it on the floor, That's and kind of bend it like that. Yeah. Once you've slightly molded the shoe to your arch, a really good way to continue the breaking in process is you actually using like the foot stretching technique I demonstrated in my last video, which is of course taking the one foot, crossing over the other, and using your shin here, bending your supporting leg to kind of force that foot and shoe to bend. So it's not only a really good foot stretch, but it also can really help you breaking your shoes be careful. The shakes of your shoes are very strong, but they can still break. And again, my shoes are really kind of dead, so this is bending a lot more than your shoe will when you first get them. You want to go for that very nice arch shaped around your foot, but you also don't want to be bending forward so far like here, see, where I'm over the platform. Remember, three-fourths of a point shoe's life, or some, something like that anyways, is breaking the shoe in. Uh, you're gonna have about one fourth, depending on how strong you want your shoes and what level of point you are at. Um, one fourth of the shoe's life is gonna be your ideal broken in point shoe and then it's dead, it's gone, can't use it no more. That's kind of one of the bummers about point work, it's very expensive. So when your shoe is fully broken in, you want it to be strong and supportive to your foot yet shaped to your foot. So when you're on point, you want that beautiful arched shape. 
Many point shoe makers and brands tell you to not alter the shoes in any way, including some of the forms of breaking in, such as smashing the, the box, although that can actually really be helpful to you. If you found the perfect point shoe, except for the fact that the box is a little bit, tiniest bit too narrow and too like bulby, I like to call it, so where this part is a little bit higher, the shoe might be perfect for you in all ways if you just smush the box just a little bit so that it's a little bit wider and it will be a little bit slimmer and form fitting to your toes. So there's a little bit of tips and whatnot about breaking in your lovely point shoes. I'm sorry it wasn't too much. I've really never paid a lot of attention to breaking in. I've just kind of used the shoe and you know formed it a little bit so that it wouldn't break it in the wrong spots. Generally Depending on your foot and your shoe, you'll feel where and what you'll need to do to break in the shoe. If you feel like oh, it's so hard through here that you have absolutely no demi point, then you would work through your demi point in your shoe to break that in. If you feel like the shoe is making it really hard to get that arched line, then you need to break in the main shank part here a little more. So it's basically, you know, kind of like common sense. So. Good luck, girls. Message me, comment, or video response any more questions you might have, and I just might be able to answer them. Also, I'll be putting a link in the bottom bar in the description um, to this one lady's video that made a really good video about breaking the point shoes in. She's one of the ladies that has a theory that it's not good to break it in just by simply doing point work because it might break in wrong. But go ahead and check out her video because it's really good. It was very helpful to me. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I'm in the process of moving and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video camera with me or not. Um, I know I will eventually. My sister's looking into getting another one because this camera I think is gonna stay at home. But I will try my hardest to make the amount of time between videos shrink a little bit for you guys. I'm getting busy with school and everything, but I will try my hardest. I will try, I will try. <laughs> so yeah, bear with me guys. I'll see you next time, bye. It's dead. It's gone. Can't use it no more.